Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer who was accused of killing George Floyd, posted $1 million in bail and is now released. And people have questions about the bail system. Here's how it works. In Minnesota, bail is governed by the Minnesota Constitution, specifically Article 1, Section 5, that states no excessive bail should be imposed on any case. So, depending on what the charge is, there will be some type of bail. Or if the charge is low, or a person has no criminal history, sometimes there's no bail imposed at all. But for cases that involve murder charges, murder one, two, three, there is almost always going to be a bail, and it'll be quite high, like in this case, a million dollars. If you post that bail, you could do it one of two ways. Either post a million dollars cash with the court, or you go through a bonding company. Those are companies that are licensed in Minnesota, and you pay them 10% of whatever the bail is, and they put up the whole bail to the court system. So for a million dollars bail, you would have to go through a bonding company, give them $100,000, and they would post the bail. And people are asking, can you find out who posts bail for someone? Normally not. If you post a cash bail with the court system, it's not public information as to who posts it. A bonding company is a commercial operation and they are listed as the person or the entity that posts the bail. But whoever hires that bonding company, that's not public information. That's a private contract between the individual and the bonding company. That's how bail works in Minnesota. In the federal system, it's a little different. Under the Eighth Amendment, part of our Bill of Rights, again, we have a right not to have excessive bail. However, over the many decades, an exception has been carved out. There are certain charges with certain types of cases where the federal courts could deny you bail. So, in the end, under state law, it is much easier to get a bail than in federal law.